Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for all 12 signs. How do they really feel? Uh, guys, if you're looking for my information to book a personal reading, you'll find that listed in the description box below the video. If you're looking for our Etsy store for our tarot deck, Magical Fantasy Tarot, you will find that listed as well. Our deck is on sale. I do believe it's at $18.75 right now. Um, get it while you can. Okay, guys, let's get into this for Aries. And how do they really feel, Aries? at 55 seconds. I'm just gonna do, okay. Somebody's in denial. Okay, let's go with one. Okay. You got an X in denial. Let's see what we've got. Aries. You're discontent about a past relationship. You may still have feelings for this person. There may be love still there. But this person just plays mind games and manipulates the situation. So you are not speaking to this person. I, don't, I feel like there's no apology here. Like they're not giving you an apology. You're waiting for one, but you're trapped in your head about this person, waiting for them to communicate. So this person's in denial. Whatever they did, I feel like you're waiting for an apology that they're not going to give you. Um, this is time to move on from this person. Taurus. At 2.45. Okay, so I'm going to do it this way. I'll just take it from the top. So it looks like you've got interference. Mm, someone may have risked it all for somebody who interfered. Tell me about Taurus. So here's the thing. They took, the, they took a chance on somebody who was trying to interfere with the relationship. They left you out in the cold, but now they're communicating that they were tra they're trapped in their head. They can't get you out of their head, and they're waiting for equal give and take in the relationship. They're waiting for things to uh, come back around. Like you're supposed to now. This is this is a twin flame. This is a twin flame. This is yes. This person may have risked it all because of of interference, but this will eventually come back around, guys. It will reconcile, okay? You will end up reconciling with this person, even though there was interference and somebody risked everything, right? It, th this also is about growth, though. Okay, so Gemini at 437. Okay. Um, Gemini, you're dealing with somebody with a substance problem or an addiction of some sort. An addiction is affecting the relationship. Now, whether that's drugs, alcohol, sex, 
gambling, um, shopping, whatever the case may be, working. It all could be divine intervention is necessary here because there's th that this is definitely something needing to be intervened on because of the addiction. You're going to get clarity in divine timing, Gemini. Someone is going to close out this toxic, this toxic situation, right? Closing out, look at this. Um, you got major arcana. You got, you got the, the hermit. You got the will of fortune. You got the world and you got the devil. And then you got the fool. Okay. So you got five out of six major arcana. This is big. And you're the first card out, Gemini. You're going to get clarity in divine timing. Somebody is closing out this karmic cycle of toxicity and they're moving on. So I feel like there is divine intervention in a situation and it's going to end up in, in the right, in the right way. Um, I feel like strong emotions here coming from you, um, is, is offering somebody an opportunity. Like you're like, maybe you're just at the end, the strong emotions, I almost feel like you're yelling at somebody, um, to heal. There's an opportunity to heal. I feel like this is offering somebody an opportunity to heal a situation. Now, I feel like, you know, um, maybe this person is really uh, going to be grateful for your efforts because I see that you're definitely going to help somebody, um, whether this is a relationship or this is a friendship, whatever the case may be, um, you're helping this person tremendously through this situation. Okay, cancer. At 650. Okay, hey, so somebody likes to party and go to, you know, they're very social. This person's very social. They like to party, okay? And does this, does this relationship or situation align with your morals and values? Now, if you're not somebody who's out wanting to party all the time, it's not going to align with you. And not that you're prudish, but if you're not into drinking and partying all the time, um, you know, this isn't going to align with, with your morals and your values. Right? So you may end up leaving something out in a cold because of an argument. You're moving on, right? You're holding back. You've held back for a long time. I feel like you're you see that you've been cut off you're manifesting a new passion and beginning your master and your emotions because you see that you've been cut off right because it didn't align with you and you weren't okay with them partying all the time and so because of that you see that you've been cut off and that's okay because you know what it may be that this was just showing you that you deserved better than that cancer okay so leo at 8.32. Leo, somebody's obsessed with you. They, they have romantic feelings. They're obsessed with you. They can't get you out of their head. They think about you all the time. They may have regret or remorse and they're at a crossroads because of a tower moment, but they see you as their partner and they know that they've caused you some pain, right? They want to see things from a different perspective. Mm, they need strength because they want to rush towards you and offer you that cup. They want to be with you. They've manifested this. Somebody from your past. They don't want to miss an opportunity. This person is obsessed with you. They definitely uh, are very much in love with you. Okay, so Virgo at 942. Mm. You got toxic relationship and rejected. Or rejection.
I feel like for you, they're at a crossroads. They want to communicate to you about a commitment because you walked away, right? There's something hidden here. Oh, hidden third parties closing the cycle because somebody was acting like a player. Virgo, I feel like this person wants to communicate to you about a relationship. This is a past relationship, okay? They, 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 want, they want to communicate to you. You're the queen of, of pinnacles here um, because you walked away. They want to talk about the relationship. You re the rejection was you. You rejected this person because it was toxic. And now they're at a crossroads wanting to communicate to you about the relationship that you walked away from because of a hidden third party. You closed the karmic cycle. Someone was in and out acting like a player. And, and so this is like you used that queen of swords energy to just cut them out, right? I feel like this person, they know what they did. And, you know, I don't know, did they expect you to stay in that mess? That's what I'm seeing. Okay. Libra, 11.50. You got finances and you have true love. Physical and unconditional. Emotional, physical, and unconditional. But you also have somebody who's going through money difficulties, money problems. I feel like somebody's trying to move forward in divine timing to work on the relationship. Manifesting the Empress. Use your intuition about your wish fulfillment here. I feel like um, it could transform your decision about somebody because, okay, okay. The reason they're saying use your intuition, manifesting you, but using your intuition about your wish fulfillment. What could transform your decision is that somebody is broke, okay? That somebody's having money issues. Now, I don't know, this person does care a lot about you, and I see 10 pinnacles under the bottom of the deck, so I do believe that you're not going to worry about the fact that they've got money problems, that maybe you're going to help this person, and together you guys will create a, an a, a huge amount of money and abundance with each other. Okay, Scorpio at 1330. Mm. I feel like you don't want to date somebody who's got children or you're a single parent trying to date. Or they have an issue because you've got children. It says children are important to this partnership. So you may be dating somebody who has kids or, or you have kids. I feel like this person is kind of having sleepless nights being at a crossroads trying to figure out if this is what this person wants to do, if they want to offer you and offer this opportunity or offer, you know, you are single and abundant here. They want to offer this to you. An opportunity for a relationship. This person's kind of, they're, they're mulling it over. I feel like they're going to work it out, work, work it out, right? Um, I feel like you and this person We'll figure this out. Maybe you have kids and this person's kind of like he's interested, but he's kind of a little hesitant at first, but I feel like everything will work itself out. Sag at 15. Oh no.
You have Twin Flame, Soulmate, Soul Contract, Soul Connection, Past Lives, but then you have Wait. The timing is not quite right. So, and, and the Temperance card wanted to full, come out, um, Sag, because um, definitely, and that's Sag's card, the Temperance card. Um, and I feel like, um, you know, Twin Flame journeys are journeys. And the whole thing here is, is that you have to wait for divine timing. Everything happens when it happens, right? Overcoming the obstacles for love, having some regrets, mastering your emotions, um, mastering your emotions about a king of pinnacles, your pre-empress energy here, rebuilding and moving forward from the past to reconcile it's almost like see you're you're trying to overcome obstacles in love maybe you're tired of waiting you know this is like feeling some regret or remorse or feeling kind of lost wanting to move forward here and rebuild for with somebody from the past to reconcile now just know guys everything happens for a reason and it will come back around when it's meant to so it might not be the right time between the two of you, but that will change. Okay, so Capricorn at 1655. You got this, you got stability because this, this relationship can stand the test of time. I feel like this is taking your relationship to a higher level. Excuse me. Okay, Capricorn. I feel like you could be getting engaged or that you are taking it to a higher level. Someone's at a crossroads about somebody who plays mind games and manipulates tries to argue and fight, um, trying to master their emotions to close out a karmic cycle. I feel like you have a new passionate beginning coming in in divine timing that you've manifested. This is two different, two different scenarios. This is the past and this is the present, right? I feel like there's a new passionate beginning in divine timing that you've manifested. It's causing you a tower because this is real. It's causing, it's completely different than what you are used to. You are used to someone fighting and arguing with you and you got tired and closed the cycle out with this person. I feel like this is an obstacle you overcame because you had the strength, right? And you're coming in with that queen of swords energy. Um, very strategic, not showing emotion. Um, I feel like this is going to be more than you could ask for. Like it, it, the, the connection is so strong, it causes a tower. You overcame the obstacle because you had the strength. And here's that new beginning. So you, you may have gone through something with somebody and then now you're in a completely different place. So I, I like this about you because this new relationship can stand the test of time and it may even evolve to a higher level of commitment. So Aquarius at 19. Mm, okay. Aquarius, it's all about the sex. Somebody has hidden motives. They wear a mask and it's strictly sexual. The connection is strictly sexual. The connection is passionate, but will not endure. You've been single for a long time. And this is somebody that you, oh, this person has hidden motives. Aquarius, you've been single for a long time, um, but there's a hidden third party here, queen of cups. There's passionate communication, but there's no equal give and take, right? Somebody constantly juggles. 
you're manifesting justice here to have new love. You're not interested in continuing down this path, right? You've been single a long time and you're, you're tired of people who hide third parties and that kind of stuff. So I feel like you're not, you're not going to continue down this path with this person. Okay. Now Pisces at 2040. I feel like you have, uh, you're communicating with somebody, but I feel like you're wanting to take it slow. You want to take it slow, Pisces. Uh, this could be them to wanting, this is how they feel. They may want to take it slow. Um, but, you know, they're only one piece of the puzzle here. The situation is taking it slow is good, but is it good for both of you, right? Um, somebody is being very strategic here. Um, I feel like they're telling you to use your, your, okay. You may be out with friends. You may have met this person while you were out partying with friends and you know, you need to use your intuition here. You are coming in pre empress energy, or you could be just single and abundant. I feel like you've you've been through something because you're cutting out, you're trying to cut out a broken heart, right? Because you want to be with somebody. This is so, if you were broken hearted, you're trying to cut out the broken heart because you want to be with somebody. This is why you got to take it slow. I feel like there's been burden and drama in new passionate beginnings. And this is why, this is why you may be having to use your intuition or that you're just keeping these kind of secrets to yourself. You know, you may have met this person. There may have been third parties in your past. I feel like this is past tense um, because I feel like this, this is the new person here. You're not speaking about third parties. You're single and abundant. You're trying to cut out a broken heart because you want to be with this person. But you've been through burden and drama with new passionate beginnings before. So you've been through this before. So this is why you're taking it slow. You're choosing to take it slow for a reason. You don't want to deal with any players, right? You want somebody who wants a relationship that wants to build a relationship. You want somebody to take control. So illuminating an emperor so i feel like for you the reason you're taking it slow is because you've been through some shit before and you don't want to deal with it anymore so guys that is all i have for you if that resonates with you please leave me a comment down below don't forget to like share and subscribe and stay blessed